Whatever Rada al Saran and the Grey Host were planning, I think the worst is behind us as far as Western Skyrim is concerned. With my thought, with Svargrim dead, their grip on the holds comes to an end. Not officially. At least I don't think so. I feel like the whole world's crumbling around me. But the city's still sinking, so that's something. I'm more worried about our friends. We left Lyris and Fen to hold of a horde of hero fiends. Hopefully they were able to hold the courtyard and keep those monsters out of the city. You go on ahead and check on them. I need to collect myself. Solitude needs Princess Svana now. And I'm not quite ready to be her. Thank you. Help them and anyone else as best you can. I'll do the same. Once you're done with them, I'll find you and we can figure out what to do next. Gods, I hope so. Haven't we dealt with enough already? I need to see what happened firsthand. All the suffering and pain my father caused. I can't undo it, but I can make amends. Or at least try to. Patrols might increase in some. Tell me truth, Lyris. How much of this blood is mine? Not enough to be worried about. So, is it over? What happened to Svargrim? And where's Svana? A parent's betrayal cuts deeper than a sword. But Svana's strong. Stronger than she's been given credit for. And Solitude's going to need that strength in the coming days. If you told me the tavern rat we met at the Lonely Troll would become my choice to lead this land, <laughs> I'd have called you mad. Then again, my king's a scald, so what do I know? Come on, there's probably something productive we should be doing. Last I heard, Sword Thane Uthlet was gathering everyone he could at the Hall of the Dead. Head over there and see how they weathered the Harrow Storm. I'll take care of securing Castle Dower. As for Fen, you might remind him we need a lot of elixir. We did our best to hold the Harrow Fiends inside Castle Dower, but nothing short of stone walls were going to keep those monsters from pushing through. It seemed like everyone I killed was replaced by two more. Almost didn't. We were nearly overrun before Fen went wild. I've never seen him like that. Snarling and showing what a true vampire can do. Took the Harrowfiends by surprise and we routed them. I did have to thwack him to clear his head, though. You did it. I shouldn't be surprised. But things were looking rather bleak before the clouds parted. We held the gate as long as we could. The Harrowfiends were a flood of claws and teeth. Once they burst through, Lyris cleaved through them like a scythe through wheat. But even she couldn't stem the tide. I... I'm not really sure. I kind of went wild. Let out my inner beast, as it were. I was rending and slashing, then leering with the flat of her blade. At least that's the last thing I remember. Not my finest hour, but we survived. The Sword Thane gathered people in the Hall of the Dead. Go check on them while I pull myself together. This whole ordeal has been a lot more strenuous than I'm accustomed to. Then I'll get to work on the elixir and a cure for the Herod. Sadly, I don't think there's any hope for them. Their life energy was sucked dry, turning them into feral beasts. Restoring them is beyond my capabilities, I'm afraid. At least with the Harrowed, they're not so far gone as to be a lost cause. As soon as we produce enough of it, yes. We saw how it protected Svana. Now, where did I put my flask?
There is an urgent task for you. see you aren't raising bugs with Ismir just yet. We saw the storm break, but we heard nothing since you departed from Blackreach. We seem to have survived, thank the gods. I thought for certain we were all about to witness the end of the world. No thanks to Svargrim, damn his eyes. After you and the princess went off to Blackreach, I gathered whoever we could and made our stand here in the Hall of the Dead. I'm just glad we don't have to be permanent residents. Far fewer than I feared when the storm began. Thanks to you and the princess, with the storm over and the Grey Host driven from Castle Dower, my soldiers will get the city back into shape. As long as no one else attacks us in the meantime. I... When I first pledged myself to the Blue Palace, I never thought I'd have to defend my city from its own king. Practically my whole life. I served in his army when he drove the Reach Dogs back from our gates. The wolf chased them halfway over the Druidoc Mountains before he declared the campaign finished. He was a man to be feared and admired. I don't know when the rot in him started. It crept so slow I never noticed it. Not before it was too late. At some point he became more concerned with holding on to his kingdom than the kingdom itself. I regret we didn't throw a beret to welcome you back, but I'll cheer enough for a hundred souls if you tell me you put that backbiter of a high king to the sword. But what of Svana? Is she? That's good. But a daughter shouldn't have to kill her own father. Svarna has my support, for whatever that's worth. She's going to need all the help she can get in the days to come. Not until we hold a mood to support her claim, and we need more than a single Jarl for that to occur. If Svarna proves herself as the acting Jarl, they might look past her father's failings and make her the queen, eventually. They're here! They're at the gates! The Grey Host? I thought we were done with them for now. Not the Grey Host! The Scald King with an army from the east! What treachery is this? To the gates. We'll give the Skald King a proper welcome, one way or another. I'm cursed by Orki. much to do, and too little time. Why couldn't the dwarves' infernal contraptions vanish along this end? If you have any experience with jails or escapes, I could make use of it. Another day, another day. Stand down, you idiot! We come Partner. in peace! Could really use your knack for diplomacy right now. Speak to the Skull King before we start a war. Sure save me from fools, prophet. Will no one properly greet a weary traveler? I know that there's little love between East and West. But now is not the time to be picking a fight. Lyris's report on the rise of Greyhost had my father preparing for the worst. When we hadn't received word for some time, he decided to intercede. Svargrim, it's hard to believe the rumors were true. I didn't know him well, but I can't understand how anyone could throw away everything for the promise of power. What's immortality worth if there's nothing you hold dear? You'd have to ask him. 
As far as I can tell, the Western Holds are in chaos. They could use a king who cares for his fellow Nords, but if the welcome we've received here is any indication, Solitude won't see it that way. A oh, familiar face. Maybe you can talk some sense into these Western milk drinkers. We're not a damn invasion. We're here to help. Do you know what's going on? So the rumors are true? Svargrin joined the Grey Host? I knew he had ambitions, but to throw away his humanity like that, it's inconceivable. Svargrim once told me that he would die before welcoming me to solitude. I suppose he was right. That's why I sent Lyris here in the first place. I'm not the king of the though I can't do anything if they refuse my help. Svargrim despised me. He would never accept my aid. But Svana... Ah, here she comes now. Let's see what she has to say. We have no need of help that involves welcoming your soldiers within our walls. My walls, Jarl. My father may have been willing to slap aside the helping hand, but I'm not. Permit me a word with your envoy, Skald King. Thank you for holding the line, I mean. I'm ready to do what I should have done a long time ago. To do what my father never could. I'll speak with the Skald King. There's one more thing I'd like you to do while I entertain our guests. We saved Solitude, but our war with the Grey Host is far from over. We need Fen's elixir more than ever. With that, and King Yorin's help, we might just push these monsters into their grave for good. Check on Fen's progress, please. That depends on Fen. If there's anything standing in his way, let me know, and I'll do everything in my power to get him what he needs. Fen is with old Mjolin at the Mage's Guild. When you're finished with him, join me in the courtyard of the Blue Palace. I'm going to hold a moment of remembrance for this city. We all need a moment to mourn what we lost. I'm going to invite the Scald King to join us. If the people of Solitude see him bow his head along with the rest of us, they may not care about the divide between the East and the West.
Ingenious. A rare thing to find an elf with the makings of a clever woman. Despite what my kin might proclaim, it's not all in the blood. Ah, good, you're here. We've made a breakthrough. I was just discussing a theory with Mjolin, and it seems like we're very close to turning this elixir into a true restorative. A cure. Singolus's research on the nether root showed me just how it weakens the connection between a body and its soul. Thus far, I've been able to inure a person to the root, but now I'm certain I can use that knowledge to heal those weakened bonds. Well, it is just a theory at this point. There's a lot more testing and experimentation to be done before we can produce a viable antidote. Weeks, optimistically? I know, I know. We can't simply put things on hold. Mjoland and I have a batch brewing right now, and materials to keep producing for another day. Ingert's promised us a steady supply of Arke's oil, but that's not our limiting factor. We know enough about Singolus's refinement processes to replicate his methods, but we still need a source of netherroot to do so. Tell Svana that if she can keep us supplied, we can produce enough to for all the holds in a matter of weeks. We can ransack Greyhost's stockpiles, or mount an expedition into Blackreach. Otherwise, it would take decades of work to produce a proper crop. After we get the elixir squared away, we'll turn our attention to curing the Herod. Indeed. As I surmised, the Grey Reliquaries contained the remains of ancient Greyhost warriors. They served as a connection to the souls trapped in Cold Harbor. Using the energy from the Harrow Storms, the souls were pulled into the Stone Husks. I believe the Stone Husks are incubators of a sort. The physical forms of the Grey Host are reincorporated within the stone vessels through a mix of Zingolus's alchemy and sorcery and the magic of the Ice Reach witches. When whole, they burst free. I was hoping you'd return before we began. Tell me you've got good news. I'll feel better delivering a speech about healing and hope, knowing that we're on the road to recovery. What did Fen have to say about the elixir? Not the best news, but I'll take it. So long as we have enough to protect our soldiers, we have a fighting chance against the Grey Host. I'll go to the Undergrove myself, if that's what it takes. Now that would be cause for celebration. If he can really bring back even a fraction of those we lost to the Hero Storms, I'm willing to try. That's all I needed to hear. We should begin the ceremony before the crowd grows more restless. Nothing fancy. Just a traditional Nord wake. To mourn and celebrate those we've lost, and cherish the lives we still have. I'd like you to join us. None of us would be here to sing dirges for the dead or celebrate the living if not for you. I certainly wouldn't be here, ready to lead my hold. You've supported me since I started down this path. I'm honored to have you here at the end. Sons and daughters of Skyrim, we have the honor today of remembering the dead. Honor to the fallen! Sons and daughters of Skyrim, our trials were fierce, 
But we are still here. We stand and we remain. Now, we raise our voices to tell Sovngarde of the coming of the worthy dead. And to tell the world that the Nords are still here. We are still standing. The fallen now march home to hallowed hall. To join our ancestors in boundless drink and song and brawls. Let sound the horns, let peal the bells, let loose the ancient hymn. We will remain until time ends, we children of Skyrim. <laughs>